I'm going to teach you 5 simple and quick methods to boost FPS and fix the FPS drop in your Valorant. Hey what's up, I'm Victor and welcome to another video. In the first method, you will create a registry key in your windows to set high priority to Valorant compared to other processes that run the background of your system while you play. That will make your computer dedicate more performance to Valorant, helping to fix this stutter in the middle of your matches. First, download the high priority Valorant compressed file on the description links below. Now unzip it using a program like WinRAR, right click on the high priority register file and then click on merge. Click on yes and then OK. Now whenever you open your Valorant, Windows will automatically set in high priority. And you can also check it in Test Manager. If you want to return to the default priority, just use the default priority register file. Now I'm going to teach you the second method of this video. In the second method, you will enable the high performance graphics mode in Valorant. First, right click on the desktop and click on display settings. Scroll the mouse to the end of this window and then click on the graphics settings option. Click on browse, local disk C, route games, Valorant, live, shooter game, binaries and Win64. Now click on the Valorant Win64 shipping file and click on add. Click on options, check the option high performance and click on save. Now I'm going to teach you the third method of this video. In the third method, I'll show you the best graphics settings to increase FPS in your Valorant. Open your Valorant, click on the gear in the upper right corner of the screen and click on settings. Select the general tab, now look for the option show corpses and set it off. That will replace the 3D object of the character's body that arrived died for a simple circle and will increase a little bit performance. Now click on the video tab, in the display mode option set full screen, select the graphics quality tab, in all these options set low or off, except for the UE quality and Vinet options that you can set high and on respectively. Now I'm going to teach you the fourth method of this video. In the fourth method, you will downscale the resolution quality in Valorant. Press the Windows and R keys from your keyboard on the desktop. In the open field, type percent local app data percent slash Valorant and click on OK. Now open the folder saved, config and the folder with several letters and numbers in its name. If you have logged into more than one Valorant account, that will be more than one such folder and you must edit the game user settings file in each of then individually. Now open the Windows folder, right click on the game user settings file and click on edit. Look for the SG resolution quality option and change its value to 50. And change the value of these other options to 0. Save the changes by clicking file and then save. Now I'm going to teach you the fifth method of this video. The fifth method will only work if you have an Intel HD graphics and you will configure it to get maximum performance in Valorant. Right click on the desktop and click on graphics properties. Click on the 3D option in application optimal mode set enable and in general settings set performance. Now click on apply to save the change. And that was the video, I hope these methods have increased FPS in your Valorant. If they helped you, take the opportunity to comment in the comment section below. Now on playlist with the videos of how to boost FPS in other games is appearing on the screen. If they are of interest to you, I recommend that you watch them. And that was it, see you in the next video, bye.